I saw the New York rapper My Son is out here getting a few things off his chest about the recent shooting that happened at Drake's Toronto mansion, and why hip-hop can't be blamed for this shooting. Multiple sources reported that there was a drive-by at Drake's home in Toronto, and one of his security guards was the victim. While this happened at the height of his beef with Kendrick Lamar, police can't tell if the shooting and the ongoing beef between the two rappers are related. Many people on the internet thinks the beef and the shooting are related, but my son seems to think otherwise and says hip-hop cannot be blamed for this. Let's check it out. So listen, I've been getting tagged all day about what happened to Drake's bodyguard and, and the shots that happened in um, Drake's Toronto home. Um, and and I've been and, I, and I've been I'm listening and and I, and I knew as soon as this happened that they were gonna say, see, this is what I'm talking about, you know, when the, this is what happens with the beef, it turns it, it goes too far. This is why you can't do this in hip hop. And and I, and, I, and for the record, I would like to say first of all, you know, I don't I don't know what happened, right? And, and somebody's actually somebody was shot, so I, I wish that man very, gets well. You know, I don't wish harm on anyone. But I, I just want to—I want to—I want to give y'all context to to the reality of what we deal with, right? Do do any does anyone blame football teams when they go to the Super Bowl and at the end of the Super Bowl somebody gets shot because their team lost? Does anyone blame the baseball teams where where the, where the Yankees is playing Boston and if you lose in Boston somebody might get shot and killed because the fan is 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 irate and he angry because they lost and, and and it's always violence and all those things happening does anyone blame the players for that right if the fans are, if the fans are too invested do you blame the 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 players who are, are competing at the highest level because they have a competitive nature hip hop has always been competition it's all we was it was jams in the parks you went you battled cyphers there are there are hip hop battles every day URL battles every day where people sit face to face and they they talk about each other's mothers they talk about each other's kids they say all type nobody gets killed nobody gets shot we cannot blame hip hop competition right the competition of hip hop that people have every day, right? That on if something turns out negative all the time. My thing, only thing that we can control is the two people and the people that they their entourages. This is what we we're trying to teach emotional intelligence. We want to show in hip hop that there can be competition. We don't. The reality is in life, everybody doesn't like each other. There's gonna be difference. There's gonna be conflict. And and if two men can come and they can compete on a record and they're not beefing, you can't blame them because some fan is is overly is invested in beefing. And I don't know if that's the, the situation. I don't know what prompted someone to shoot at Drake's house, but immediately hip hop is gonna be the reason for it. I just don't think that's real. I don't think that hip hop should be the blame for something that happens. If you have stayed with me to this point of the video, consider subscribing, hit the like button, and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.